Okay, everybody, it's Matt at Fisher Electronics and Mark, and we are on the job site again for part two of our home theater installation with a Sony 85 inch uh, LED TV X91J. Um, Mark's putting the mat down so that we can lay the screen flat on its face and put the mount on. I'm going to be using a full motion mount. This is a <clears throat> Canto uh, great mount. Paul Mary X-Ray 700. We'll get a shot of it when we get it on the back. 42 to 100 inch. Uh, but that's a very nice full motion mount. We like that a lot. Let's take a look over here. We're waiting to put our uh, plate on the bottom end, our seven speaker lines. We've got our top plate up with some HDMI cables and our cat line. And then we're also going to be waiting. Once we get the TV up, we'll know perfectly the placement where we're going to put our front right center and front left speaker in the wall and then we'll also get to the fact of uh, putting our four uh, rears in for seven to one and yes I'm aware the site is really not totally ready yet for a TV but when the client really really wants it and sometimes you just have to say okay it's I guess ready enough but I am aware that you know we don't have a flooring down in that but so it's not in move-in ready I get that and that's not my first preference, but you do what you got to do. So we'll be back with you when we get some more updates. All right, guys, um, we've got our Canto mount up. This is a uh, Paul Mary X-Ray 740 to 100 inch full motion mount. Let me show you a nice feature I like about this as far as before you go to put the setup, this does tilt uh, up and down. I'm going to loosen this and I'll show you. But what is nice about the lock of this tilt, what I generally like to do before I'll put the set on this, is with this arm up, this is what we use to lock this tilt feature. This and this, uh, this screw here. So this nut basically, <clears throat> get this to where you want, basically flat, maybe a little bit tilt down, right about there. And then we tighten this as tight, about as tight as we can get it. And then this is our locking arm. So we takes a little strength, but we pop that down. This is not going to go anywhere. You can put your setup here. It's not going to fall flat forward or like, oh man, I didn't get that tight enough. That locks it, and you're done <clears throat> with this tight enough. If if you don't get this nut tight enough, then you might have some sag. But don't you know? Be afraid to get that tight. This arm locks down, and this is. <clears throat> As you can see, solid as a rock. I'll put this back up. Um, again, I get this tight. This is how we would loosen this. You loosen this if you want it less uh, tight to where this is going to be free to move more. Or you tighten this more and then lock that down. And now when you hang your setup here, you're not going to have to worry of, oh man, did we get the tilt uh, tight enough and strong enough to where it's not going to go sagging, the front's going to go flopping forward. That's, with this mount, uh, that'll take care of that problem real nice, real easy. So we'll get the setup here next and go from there. But I just wanted to point that out, that that's a great feature <clears throat> on these uh, professional Canto mounts. That's This is not in every Canto mount, but on the uh, professional higher-end mounts, it is, and it's very nice. Okay. All right, guys, so we've got the TV up on the mount, and... We are behind the TV, the lighting is not great, so if you can't see everything perfectly, I apologize, but we're working with what we got here. Um, as you can see, the TV is up on the mount now, 85 inch, and as you can see, this tilt, our arm is down, I didn't change anything. This did not sway forward at all, locked, nice and strong, nice in there, just tight as can be. Again, this is a Canto Paul Mary X-Ray 700. Uh, we sell these, we use these on installations like this, great mount. So at this point, we need to tighten three screws. This top one needs to be tight, so I'll do that right now. That brings the setup, the top of the setup tight. And then we're going to put our bottom screws on. That's how the set gets leveled. Um, two washers and two nuts. And I'll put the washers on down there. I'm going to start these. Um, and then we'll level it from the front. Uh, there really is probably no need to record that portion, but I'm just showing you this back side on this mount and most of these Canto mounts of uh, what the process is. 
So I'll get these almost tight. Oops, okay. There we go. A little too much. There. All right. Then we'll get it leveled and those will get tightened up. And we will be back with you soon as we continue along. All right, guys, we're to the portion of installing the recessed speakers for the front left, center, and right into the wall um, for our front surround sound. We're going to be using these Beale Street Audio um, speakers. These are the IW LCR4BB uh, for Better Better, which is their high-end ones. These are a nice, pardon on the camera, these are a nice ported speaker, uh, all sealed so that the air is not escaping in the wall. Um, this is the ports on them. Tweeter, two woofers. That's what's going in the wall. And then how we're going to do this, these do fit in any standard 16-inch stud bay. You can put them vertically, or the one under the TV is going to go horizontally. Uh, we've done some measurements, and we're going to cut our hole here soon, but we know 61 and a half is going to put that, uh, I'm sorry, 61 inches is going to put the center of this speaker at the center of that TV. So it's nice and centered on the left. It's going to go about right there. And then we'll use the same approach on the right. And then uh, we've got the center. We've got the TV centered on that wall at the center of the middle stud bay so that our when we put our center speaker in, <laughs> the speaker is not off left or right based on where the stud bay is. That would be something very crucial to make sure you have lined up correctly. So we'll be getting to that shortly, and then we'll show you how that goes along. All right, guys, so we're somewhat, for the most part, close to finished up here. Again, we've got our Sony 85-inch there with our front left, center, and front right speakers. Um, we did get the rear speakers in. Uh, these are the Beale Streets, and I'll give you a whole overview there. Um, here's our surround left and right, and then our surround backs, basically, right behind it, angled in. I'll step up here at the front. And then <clears throat> you'll see that there's our rear speakers there, 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 focus, and right there. Um, they had some ducts in the ceiling, which the ceiling was mounted very close to the joists, so we had to just... Uh, uh, work with what we had there The ceiling tile was I'll give you an angle from back here looking forward on it <clears throat> And these are lined up on the center to right side of the room With the front left speaker and the same with the front right But uh, this is the system overall um, we have it tuned without a floor. We're going to come back and tune it when they get their flooring in. Um, we'll come back, get it tuned for the, when they get their rest furniture in. We have it tuned for this predicament, but it's not going to be the same for the flooring that they use. So we'll take care of that at that time. Um, Yamaha, great amp, RX-A2A, <coughs> and then the Panasonic 4K Blu-ray player. It's what they're going to be using for their media, going to the uh, Sony 85-inch set. So this, at this point, uh, takes care of this one for part two of the installation. Um, we got his, kind of got going on the rear speakers, so we couldn't get a lot of detail into those just to get it knocked out. But you're basically cutting your ceiling tile with a tile bridge and putting those in in the appropriate locations. But yeah, that's going to sum it up for this video in this uh, part two of this series. This is Matt at Fisher Electronics. Visit us at fisherelectronics.net. Subscribe to us if you like, and throw any comments down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, everybody.